Hello, this is Stuart Haynes with the Municipal League staff. I wanted to take just a few minutes to uh, provide a step-by-step -step guide uh, to walk folks through the process for updating your uh, city information and contact list uh, on MML's website. Um, to begin with, you want to start on the MML website and go to the login page. Um, so from the top of the website, there is the login button. If you click on login, uh, you'll of course need your username and password. Uh, that information, uh, hopefully you already have, but if you don't, you can always click the forgot username or forgot password. If it's the first time that you're logging in, you'll wanna use forgot username. That actually lets the system set up your profile. Do not use the forgot password if you haven't logged in uh, yet. So, uh, so let's start, we'll go ahead and log in. Um, And if you're familiar with our old website, uh, you may remember that in order to update your officials, you needed to log in to the city's profile, which was a different profile from the city clerk's profile. That is no longer the case on our new website. Uh, there, you just have one profile and as city clerk, by default, you are set up as what we call the company administrator. And that allows you to update information, not only for yourself, but for your city and any officials who are associated with your city. So from, from the main website here, if you go ahead and click on my account, that's gonna pull up information related to your profile. And from this, uh, you know, this is just a, a test profile that I have set up, but uh, you can go ahead and click on your city. Your city will show up right here on your sort of mini profile here. You click on the, the city and that will bring you up information about your city's officials. The first thing you're going to, want to do is click on the contacts tab here, and that's going to bring up a list of all the city officials who are associated with your city. Um, you know, really, you just want to cross check that against your current uh, roster of city officials. If you want to add new officials, you just click on the add contact button. That'll bring up this uh, little uh, sidebar here. And really, we need three main things if you're adding new profiles. We need their name, last name, uh, an email, and we'll also want their title. So in this case, if I wanna just add, add somebody, uh, we're gonna add um, uh, Richard Sheets. <laughs> and but the default, the organization's automatically gonna be linked to your city's profile. Uh, we do need to have a unique email for all officials. Uh, I really would strongly encourage if you, you know, your officials are, are reluctant to provide the email, we need to have the email so that we can get them uh, our, our ML newsletter, our legislative alerts, uh, our certification program. They are uh, will not be able to log into the website if we do not have an email address for them. So really would encourage you to get a, get their email address. And also would mention that, you know, certainly there are free services like uh, Gmail where you can get a free email address for them. And you know, also along those lines, the attorney general's office and sunshine law issues, you know, it really is better for your city officials to have uh, an email address that is devoted uh, to city government uh, information. So go ahead and plug in an email here. So again, after, uh, Adding Richard has been added now uh, to the city, and we'll just want to close that out. And the other thing you'll want to do now that Richard is now added is we'll want to go to his profile and we can update his title. Um, so we'll go to Richard's profile here. Anytime you see a pencil icon, you do have the ability to update information. You'll see that Richard's uh, address, all that information was automatically tied to the existing profile information that I had set up for our, for our test city. Um, but in this case, so I'll go ahead and add uh, Richard's title. I will do So it's pretty much that simple. We just need name, uh, email address, and you add their title. Um, I'm gonna go back to City of Testville. And if we want to, the, the other you know, main thing, certainly with the April elections having happened, uh, you may want to remove officials from your uh, contact list here. So uh, that 
is accomplished, again, you go to the contact list and, in, and you wanna click on the titles here. So in Richard's case, I'll click on his title. And if you just click on the, the red X, that is gonna remove him from our organization. And that is all you need to do for your officials who did not get reelected. Um, at this point too, I, I would remind you that please do not, you can, it's really not set up that you can do this, but you don't wanna substitute uh, one official for another official. What we want you to do, if, if somebody was not reelected, you want to remove them the way I, I just did. So once you have all of the corrections that you want to make completed for your officials, uh, we would ask that you go back to the About tab. And right here at the top, you will see Organization Roster is co correct. We would ask that you go ahead and toggle that button to say, yes, it is correct. Um, if you don't do that, you are going to continue to receive requests from MML to update your information. That is the way that we know that you have uh, reviewed what we have on file. Uh, so please go ahead and do that uh, after you make your corrections. Uh, with any of this information, certainly if you have any questions about how to do the updates, make changes, please uh, don't hesitate to contact uh, MML. Uh, we are here to serve uh, your, your city. And uh, so just let us know what we can do to help you with this process. Thank you.